Well, good morning and welcome to Coffee with the Pastor. We're looking through the Sermon on the Mount and uh, we're actually in that section Jesus had told his followers that I want your righteousness to be better than the Pharisees. And the Pharisees were big upon keeping the law. Jesus says, I want you to go beyond the law. I want you to go to the inner motivations of them. And he's talked about murder and adultery and divorce. Then he's going to talk about oaths. And I want to read uh, Matthew chapter 5, verses 33 to 37. And Jesus says, again, you have heard that it was said to the people long ago, do not break your oath, but fulfill to the Lord the vows you have made. But I tell you, do not swear an oath at all, either by heaven, for it is God's throne, or by the earth, for it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot make even one hair, hair white or black. All you need to say is simply yes or no. Anything beyond this becomes from the evil one. Jesus is referring to the... Uh, oaths that were taught in the Torah. Numbers chapter 32 says if you make an oath uh, for God or about God, you must keep it. Uh, Deuteronomy 23, 21 talks about if you have an oath or you make a vow to somebody in God's name, uh, you should repay that loan quickly. It needs to be repaid quickly. So it was pretty common in Moses' day and in the Old Testament day if you borrowed money, if you were making an agreement or a contract or something, you would swear an oath or you would make a vow to God and you were to keep it. And Jesus looks at his followers and he says, you know, you don't need to make an oath. Your character should be such where somebody can just believe you. That if you say, hey, I'm going to do this, you're going to do it. If you're not going to do it, then not. But he said, let your yes be yes and your no be no. You don't have to make an oath. And then he tells about the folly of it. He says, you can't make a, an oath for God. You're not God. You can't make an oath for heaven because you don't own heaven. You can't make an oath for uh, Jerusalem because you don't own Jerusalem. You didn't make Jerusalem. He said, you can't even make an oath on your own life. Because you can't... <laughs> And this is before die, but he said you can't even change the color of your hair from from to gray, uh, from black to gray. In other words, we don't own anything. It's all God's. He said, you, you don't need to be putting notes on that. He said, just live in such a way where you're honest. Just live in such a way where you don't have to give an oath. Live in such a way that whoever you're doing business with shouldn't have to do that. Now, I know today... And we've just got through repurposing the building out here uh, from the mall into a church. And oh my goodness, the contracts and liens and liens releases and all this stuff that we had to deal with, all the legal hoopla's you have to go with. But I got to be honest with you, I kind of miss my little small hometown where people just kind of trusted. Okay, if you're going to do that, you know, that's good. I know you, I know where you stay. But that's kind of how Jesus was saying that, you know, we just need to, to be people of integrity. Which leads me to what I think Jesus is getting at. We need to be honest. And uh, we just need to be able to tell the truth. And we need to be honest with ourselves. One of the things that we do a lot of times is we try to deceive ourselves. Uh, I read about a survey one time of high school seniors who asked if they were above average uh, for leadership ability. 80% of them said they were above average. 70% of them said they were in the top 10%. Well, somebody was deceiving themselves on that survey. But we deceive ourselves all the time. And when you talk about spiritual formation, Christian formation, one of the things that you have to do that is just essential is that you have to be honest with yourself, where you're at, honest with yourself, what your strengths, weaknesses are, where your gifts are, what they're not. Sometimes I think it's more important to know what you're not good at, what you're not gifted at, than what you are gifted at. 
um, it's important for us to be honest with ourselves and give honest assessments of ourselves if you're going to be a follower of Christ and to be a person of character where, you know, you don't even have to give an oath. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. You don't have to have an oath to do what you're going to say. Now, do I think it's wrong today to go to court and take an oath? No, I don't. But I think what Jesus is saying, you shouldn't have to take an oath to tell the truth. Do I think it's wrong to sign a contract, like if you're buying a house or something like that and you sign your life away? No, I don't think it's wrong. But you ought to be the kind of person that would say, whether I sign this contract or not, I'm going to pay back the loan. Um, and that's what Jesus is getting at. Be a person of character where you would do what's right, no matter what. Well, that's talking about oaths today. We'll continue uh, tomorrow with that uh, great passage about an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth and see what Jesus has to say about that tomorrow and turning your cheek and all. And so we'll, we'll look at that passage tomorrow. And so I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.